that means you are serving Satan because self is the offspring of Satan. It's in his image and likeness. And its desire is for the flesh. Its desire is to serve its master. See, Satan still believes that you're his. And he does everything he can to keep you. No matter what it takes. He does everything he can. He does strange things. That's why you have to be led by the Spirit so you can understand the strategies of Satan's kingdom. So you can outwit. The Spirit tells us things to come. He reveals things to us or what's happening. He shows us these things. If you're listening, if you're watching, and if you're in the Spirit, you cannot get these things by not being in the Spirit unless somebody comes and tells you. Then hopefully you'll receive. Are you listening? Turn to 1 Timothy chapter 4. In verse 1. Would you read it with me, please? The Spirit expressly says that in the latter times, what? Some will depart from the faith. What is faith? Spiritual sight. Giving heed to doctrines or, or deceiving spirits and doctrines of what? Demons. So that means they're going to be listening. They're going to be misled by deceiving spirits, familiar spirits, seducing spirits, seductive spirits, lustful spirits. And they're going to receive a doctrine that's not from God, but from these demons. Now, does a demon lie? You betcha. Right to your face. Speaking lies in hypocrisy and having their own conscience seared with a hot iron. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. So many are going to fall from the faith. In other words, they're going to become blind. By doctrines of demons, deceiving spirits. And these individuals are going to know the truth, but give up the truth. They're going to walk away from the truth that has made them free and be under the authority of Satan again. I want to share something with you, what, it, what it's called. It's called a spiritual blackout. It is called a what? A spiritual blackout. Did you ever get with somebody who blacked out? I know, you know. And I didn't say passed out. I said blacked out. Bam! They don't know what's up. These are, this is called a spiritual blackout. They are taking heed to deceiving spirits, doctrines of demons. They fall from the will and the desire of God to the will of self-intellect, self-righteousness, and a spiritual blackout resulting in blindness. They have lost spiritual sight. This is an area where Satan loves to attack. He causes spiritual blackouts. There are many victims of spiritual blackouts. Many. In fact, everyone in this room has had an occasion to one, two, or many. They are spiritual blackouts. Go to 1 John chapter 2. One of the things that happen with this and these spiritual blackouts, there, it, it's one of its results also besides um, blindness is forgetfulness. Unforgiveness. Pride. These are some of the results of a spiritual blackout. Because the individual results go into the flesh because they can't get in the spirit now. A spiritual blackout blocks you out from the spirit. 
and causes you to go into the flesh. First John, what did I say, chapter 2? First John, chapter 2. That's where an individual can be one way one day and the next day, poof, totally different. Spiritual blackout. In fact, it can happen in the morning and in the afternoon. Yo. First John chapter 2, verse 8. Would you read it with me? Is everybody there? Again, a new command I write to you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. He who says he is the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. He who loves his brother abides in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going. Why? He's got a spiritual blackout. Because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Hello? Does not know where he's going because of a spiritual blackout. Are you listening? This is a ploy of the enemy to cause spiritual blackouts. The spiritual blackout blocks you out from getting in the spirit and puts you in the flesh. 1 Peter chapter 5. Is everybody there? Is everybody okay? And don't black out on me. <laughs> First Peter chapter 5. And verse 6. Is everybody there? Let's read it. Therefore what? Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all of your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be what? Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion and seeking whom he may devour. It says what? Resist him steadfast in the faith. What's the faith? Spiritual sight. So how are you going to resist the devil? By seeing him. You can't resist something you can't see. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Humble yourself, staying humble, being sober, being vigilant. That means consistent. And resist the blackouts. You must resist the blackouts by maintaining consistency and making of making what is unseen to become what? Seen, which is spiritual sight, isn't it? Amen? Now, there's a couple things I got to share with you tonight um, because all of this was spoken about a prophecy of 2010, and we'll get there in a minute, about spiritual blackouts and blackouts. The roaring lion. You know when, when you begin to expose darkness, amen, when Satan gets exposed, he hates that. Doesn't he? And we'll talk a little bit more about that. But when, when he gets exposed, he usually attacks. He can't help himself. He's got to attack when he's exposed. I had two dreams Two nights in a row. And I didn't know, I, I mean, I understood what the dreams were, but I didn't know when or what was for, and then the Lord reminded me of, about the blackouts and so forth. The first dream I had the first night was I was in a garage, and I was cleaning the garage up. And I was cleaning everything out. And, and I found uh, 